So today, I'm testing 18 glitches inside of Bed Wars. So for the first one, apparently you can get different color balloons. All you have to do is spawn in infinite balloons, pop one balloon, and as you can see, it's right now red. But if you actually go to your players tab, change teams, pop one else, and uh, it's blue. <laughs> So now I have different color balloons. Honestly, kind of cool in my opinion. Oh, and I just popped the red one. Rip. But basically, if you have all the colors in the game, you can literally have any color balloon, which is pretty sick in my opinion. For the next one, we actually have an invisibility glitch with the Electra kit. You have to actually spawn in a zip line, and I'll place it right here. Then what you want to do is get on the zip line, and right before you hit the end, you have to pop the kit. All right, let's go ahead and try it out, and... I'm invisible. <laughs> it doesn't really work super good because you can still see my face. But as you can see, my friend Ken literally just said question mark. And oh, crap. When you level up, it goes away. So let me try it again, though. Come on. Oh, I did, I did it wrong. Dang it. Let me try it one more time. And there you go. I'm invisible again. So now I'm just a floating name tag. Let me hide name tags. And there you go. <laughs> now I'm actually invisible. Pretty cool glitch. Oh, that worked. Let's confirm. Now for the next one, you can actually get five enchants at once. Apparently, at least. Obviously, you guys all know that when you use the enchantment table, you can only actually get one enchant. So as you can see, you spawn it in. I got that, but that's all I can get. I switched it out. I can't get more. Now, if you spawn in the damage banner, the heal banner, and the defense banner, put them all down right next to each other. You basically have four enchants. <laughs> I got fire. I got critical strike. I got anti-knockback. That's pretty OP if you ask me. And oh, I just lost half of them. Okay, and I have cloud. So I am definitely not dying, boys. And wait, he said you can get one more? He said buy the blossom dagger for the poison effect or enchant. And I just hit him and he's dying. <laughs> Look at this. It's 2 OP. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Well, that's also glitch confirmed. All right. For the next one, apparently you can kill your teammate with radioactive plants. If you guys don't know, obviously you can't kill your teammates in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to go on the same team with my friend right now. And look, I'm clicking on him and it does not do damage. Hey, stop it. <laughs> I can even put literally TNT on top of him and watch this. He will not take damage. Okay. It's just how it works. You cannot kill your teammates in Bed Wars, obviously. But what if there was a glitch? And why is he dancing? like that <laughs> anyways if you spawn in infinite radioactive plants and just place on top of your friend <laughs> as you can see your friend will die wait come on die why is he not dying what you can't kill him oh bro said nope all right well i guess you can't actually kill your teammates but oh no never mind you can <laughs> glitch confirmed you can do damage and kill your teammates bro said that was not nice pretty cool glitch in my opinion so that's also glitch confirmed all right for the next one apparently with siege tnt you can break the map I don't know if this is a real thing or not, but we're going to try it out, obviously. All right, now the thing about this glitch, actually, is the Siege TNT has to be placed in a certain spot. It has to be placed right above the team generator, so we're going to try to get up there right now. Let me just teleport up there, and I'm pretty sure we're above it. Let me check. Uh, yep, that's exactly above it. Right here would be above it. All right, so let's go ahead and place it down and see if this works, boys. All right, come on, come on, and no. Okay, glitch busted. Unfortunately, guys, that does not work. <laughs> we got scammed. <laughs> All right. Right. Well, kind of unfortunate, but we'll find a better one. All right, for the next one, apparently there's an infinite healing glitch. Now, you guys know about the heal banner, okay? And that's not the infinite healing glitch, obviously, but it does heal you. Now, the thing about the healing banner is it's actually not infinite. It goes away after a little while. So we'll wait a second here and it should go away any second now. Oh, and it's gone. As you can see, it literally disappeared. But what if I told you there was a way to make that infinite? So what you have to do is actually go ahead and type in slash airdrop lucky block. And as fast as you can, get over to the lucky block airdrop drop and let me go ahead and actually just kill this little guy i don't want to get in my way and then what you want to do is right before these things hit the ground you need to place the banner there okay i'm not gonna lie sometimes you have to get lucky because it's kind of hard to know where it's actually gonna be but i think it'll be right here and there's two of them too so i'm able to get two of these okay come on hopefully we can get two all right so right there and oh no no okay that didn't work and this one Oh, wait, that one worked, that one worked, that one worked. All right, as you can see, the heal banner's inside of the lucky airdrop lucky block. I'm gonna go ahead and break this one because we don't need it, obviously. And now I got a rage blade. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna go ahead and have my friend place one down. Then I went ahead and put the lucky block on top of mine. And watch, guys, his will disappear, but mine will never disappear. It's literally infinite. And what did I say? His is gone, but mine's still here. So pretty cool glitch if you can manage to catch a lucky airdrop. All right, for the next one, apparently you can actually use the gauntlet to boost yourself across the map. I'm not sure how well this works, but you have to 
by the best gauntlet, the War Fist. Now, once you get that, obviously, if you just click and charge, you don't get a boost, okay? Look, I do not get a boost by clicking charge. Even if I jump, I don't get a boost. So you may be wondering, how exactly do you do this? Well, basically, you go in first person, you look all the way up, you charge it, jump, and then right after you jump, you let go. All right, watch this. Ready? And boom, look at that. As you can see, I am boosting. I don't know if you can tell or not, guys, but it is literally a boost. My friend just roasted me. He said that was a tiny boost. Let me show you how the masters do it. I guess they could do it better than me, but we'll see. All right, and let's see. Yo, what the? Oh my God. How did he do that? What the heck? Bro, you're so good at it. Well, as you can see, guys, that is actually a real glitch. It'll probably get patched soon. And I probably should be making a video on this, but I am. But yeah, if you can master it, this glitch can be super OP. All right, for the next one, apparently your dad will come back with the milk if you touch grass. Bro, <laughs> guys, my friend actually got the glitches for me and I'm testing them for the first time right now. So I don't know why he put that. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so for the next one, apparently when you actually have two max level kits, so let's say, for example, Pyro versus Electra, you do more damage with a wood sword. This probably sounds weird, but let me show you. So everyone knows, obviously, that wooden swords do 20 damage. But since my friend is also level 50 kit, I do 22 damage. It literally makes no sense. And look, if I hit the dummy, it does 20 damage. But if I hit him it does 22 it makes no sense guys and he just said magic i'm not sure why they added that but that is true it is a glitch in my opinion all right for the next one apparently if you eat five golden apples you get a shield now that actually sounds like it could work because golden apples are kind of op in other games so i'll spawn in five golden apples and uh as you can see we have the beautiful golden apple and bro why is it so big uh anyways let me just go ahead and eat them there we go eight one eight two eight three and last one uh no shield bro <laughs> All right, well, that glitch did not work, and I did not get a shield. So, yeah, glitch does not work. All right, so for the next one, apparently, you can actually cancel the Hannah execute with an emerald shield. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a thing or not. It's probably a glitch, but let's try it out. So my friend's the Hannah kit, and I have the emerald shield. He's going to go ahead and lower me down right now so that we can execute me. All right, he's just the mark. I'm going to pull out my shield, and he said, wait, what? Try again. <laughs> okay, bro messed it up. <laughs> right, let's try it again. Come on. And yo, it breaks the emerald shield, but you do stay alive. And now I'm killing you, bro. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, Emerald Shield for the win. All right, next, apparently you can actually break your fall damage with TNT. Now, this Loki sounds like it couldn't make sense, so we're going to try it out. I'm going to go ahead and spawn infinite TNT, spawn in some blocks, and I'm going to build all the way up to the sky. Now, this might be a mistake. <laughs> we're probably going to die, but who cares? All right, now I broke one block. Let me go ahead and drop that. And if I place the TNT and it explodes me, apparently I don't take fall damage. So we'll try it out. All right, come on. Ah! No. Okay, I died. Amazing. <laughs> What the heck, bro? Why is that a thing? All right, well, that's uh, glitch busted. But before we move on, actually, maybe I interpreted that wrong. Maybe if you, like, drop TNT right here, it falls down, and then you jump on it... No, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> All right, so for this glitch, supposedly you're able to break the map with the Juggernaut Barb Rage Blade. So I have the Rage Blade right now. Let's go ahead and try breaking the map in three, two, one. And yeah, it works. Bro, this is so lit. You can literally put holes in the map. Okay, wait a minute. I want to try something. Let me go ahead and kill my friend Ken right now. First said, huh? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Gotta kill you. And let me see where he spawns in. Okay, he spawns in right there. So let me just get down here and I can literally break everything, bro. Bro, look at this. I need to get to the generator. That's my goal, okay? If I get to the generator, then I win. And oh, yes, here it is, boys. Come on, let me off. <laughs> Imagine you're just playing Bed Wars and someone's under your base. That would be so lit. Anyways, good confirmed. All right, so for the next one, apparently you can actually crash the game with infinite candy. So I'm not sure how you do it, but I'm gonna let my friend demonstrate right here. He spawned in uh, a flamingo. I mean, a pinata. He said, time to burn your PC. Oh, no. Uh, oh, what the? Yeah. Uh, guys, hello? <laughs> guys, I, this is not a screenshot, all right? As you can see, my mouse is moving around right now. The, the game literally crashed immediately. He did not lie. Rip. All right, well, that was definitely glitch confirmed. <laughs> but all right, boys, I hope you enjoyed all those glitches. Comment down below if you know any other glitches. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.